Okay, here's the question. Why does my advisor have me in so many symbols? There is a simple answer, and the answer is very important because in some ways, you're being held hostage by all those symbols. And whether you are retired, you're in your key earning years, or you're somewhere in between, knowing why your advisor has you in so many darn symbols is gonna absolutely help you accelerate your wealth. Stick around. Hey everyone, this is RC Peck, and I wanna talk to you about why your advisor has you in so many symbols. Now, I often call advisors big box advisors because they all kind of do the same thing. And there's three reasons why your advisor has you in so many symbols. I wanna talk about those three reasons and then at the end, talk about what you can do about it. And whether you're retired in your peak working years or somewhere in between, having this answer and more importantly, knowing how to ask these questions and find the answers are really important to how well your money is gonna grow over the next one year, five year, 10 year, 20 year, 30 years. So let's get into this. So here's the first question, or here's really the first answer, right? Because I said there's three reasons why your big box advisor has you in so many symbols. So reason number one, they were taught to do that. They were taught, specifically who taught them was the industry, right? The investment industrial complex. They were taught this is the way you do it. And the idea of all of these symbols really started way, way, way before there were even index funds. Now, mutual funds have been around since the 30s, but prior to an index fund, which was invented in, let's call it 1974 by Wells Fargo. Um, not the, let's call it, it actually was Wells Fargo, the insurance company, uh, Wells Fargo's clients, insurance companies in this case, wanted a exposure to the entire S&P 500. So Wells Fargo built an index for their insurance companies. Now, even with that one symbol today, you have 500 stocks. So the idea of being in all these different positions is because prior to index funds, okay, that's what you had to do. And that has just been going on even now today, 50 years after the index fund has been invented. Now, that doesn't mean if you had 20 index funds, you're safe because you're still way over diversified. But the answer or the first, the answer to the first reason why is literally your advisor has been taught to over diversify you. They've never been taught anything else. And in a way, this kind of makes sense. And I'm going to talk about in point two and point three why they're doing this. But the first answer is they were taught to do this and they've never questioned it. And they've never had to question it because if they're making money, there's no reason to question it. Okay, that's number one. Here's the second reason why. If you have 50 or 100 or 150 symbols and they get rebalanced semi-annually or annually, you are not going to be able to emulate that. You are not going to have the feeling or experience that you can actually take control back over your money. You're going to have the experience like, I just need them. This is so complicated. This is so confusing. And guess what? Guess who built the complication and the confusion? They, they did. And then they kind of swoop in as the hero to manage the confusion and the complication. So if you have a complicated, over-diversified 50, 100, 150 symbols, there's no way you're going to be like, yeah, yeah, I can emulate this. People who do they then manage their money on their own in a crazy over diversified way. And they do much worse. They actually do worse than a big box advisor over diversifying. So it doesn't even get better if you do it because too many symbols is too many symbols. So the second reason why big box advisors have you in so many symbols, because you can't emulate it and they know that it is security for them. Okay. Here's the third reason. They're really incentivized to have that part of the process be very complicated. So then what they can do is they can have you focus on their fees. And if you've ever talked to a big box advisor, one of the first things they're gonna to talk to you about is how amazing their fees are, how low their fees are, or how competitive their fees are, or how they'll lower your fees for you. And so what they're doing is they're distracting you or they're kind of giving you a head fake like, hey, go look over here so we can talk about fees and let's just not talk about how we've created a very, very complicated 
confusing approach that you have no chance in emulating. Now, in the world of incentivizing, this is called eliminating career risk, right? Because think about this. If you had a advisor and they had you in five symbols or three symbols or seven symbols, let's say, you might look at that and go, I can do that. Right, you have me in two bond symbols and three stock symbols. I can probably manage that myself. Um, and they're worried about that because then they would lose business. But that's actually the truth. So they're incentivized to keep it complicated and have you focusing just on fees. It's, a, it's an exceptional business model. Now you yourself, you don't have to implement and you don't have to manage your money that way. So there's a lot of people who feel kind of captured and stuck, right, with their big box advisor. Whether you like them or not, people are just like, I just, I, I, I just, I want to take it over. I just, there's so many things and this and that, and then they change it and then they rebalance. And that's, that's on purpose. That's deliberately done. So just know that if you do want to take control back over your money and you want to increase your performance, it can absolutely be done by understanding how to read price, read price charts, understand strength, where the strength is in the market. These are very straightforward things to learn. And once you see them, you can't unsee them. They're that straightforward. And then the third is signal. So price, strength, signal, how to read price charts, how to understand where the strength is, and really to understand where the signals are. So that is why you are in, or that is why your big box advisor has you in so many damn symbols. It is, let me just go over them, career risk, right? They'll have you focus on fees and not the overcomplication. Uh, I'm going in reverse order. There's no way you can emulate it. And number one, they were taught to do it that way. They, they actually don't know any better. So if you have questions or concerns or you have a comment or you have a different point of view or you you think about this differently, leave leave something in comments. I read all the comments. I reply to all the comments. Um, tell me where I'm right. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me your point of view. And I'll absolutely respond to those in the comments. And if you like this video, please like the video. Ring the bell. Leave a comment because... Uh, the YouTube algorithms like that, and it actually helps spread this type of content to other people. There's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of shitty content out there. A lot of people who create this type of content, they literally just watch other YouTube videos, and they just do the same YouTube video, but with their um, you know, different colored background. There's actually not a lot of content out there that is, that's different. It's mostly the same stuff just repeated and echoed. And that's, that's part of the problem. Anyway, so thank you for that, guys. I appreciate you. And I will see you on the next video. Okay, bye.